Hi, Vic here from Wildberry Furniture Makeovers. I'm just putting together a short video to show you a simple way to do the Paddle Pop herringbone pattern. So using your Paddle Pop sticks, going to show you on a panel and it will look like this. This one's got a slight stain over the top of it. Um, I did it as a practice run um, for an entertainment unit. I've done it on the top of drawers, panels for entertainment units, um, on top of a little coffee table. It's quite easy to do once you get the hang of it. So if you follow these steps as we go along, um, you'll be Okay, as you can see, step one, using your scissors, cutting the ends. Some people want to line them up, measure them. That's very time consuming. I uh, promise it works out in the end. So just snip, 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 um, keep it going, get as many as you like. So I'm doing this on the board just to show you up close. Um, and when I've done um, a basic on the board pattern, I'm going to go and show you my drawers. Um, just got the glue. So step two obviously is spreading out your glue. Um, I'm just using the Gorilla Super Glue here. A bit later on um, when I do the drawers, I'll actually use the liquid nails, but for the purpose of just showing you how to do the pattern on this piece of ply, I'm going to just do it like that. So with the ply, I generally have it cut and then I'll insert that, use the wood glue, um, trim this up obviously with scissors again. They're so easy to cut with the scissors. So laying it out in a V pattern, um, you can move them around as you can see I had one in the wrong spot and then just lining it out Okay, so here's the real medeal the drawers liquid nails spread out as you can see I put uh, I marked out so that I was getting them sort of in a line using a Nikko pen marking out just um, So that when I did it it was following that pattern laying them out It is really quick to do once you've got the um, lines in order um, popping them all straight. Had to move a few around. Um, just while your glue's sort of drying, you can fiddle with them a bit. So once again, liquid nails on there, using another paddle pop stick to spread that out and just laying them in that pattern along that line again. So, you know, you can play around with it. If you've got like a bigger drawer, which you'll see if you check my page out, I did it on some big drawers with the pattern that I showed you on the panel. Okay, here's the filler. Use a little bit of the wood filler. This is just so that you don't have any gaps. Spread it all out evenly and then with the sander, go over um, and you just smooths out any if you've got any rough edges with or any that have sort of moved a little bit and you've got a little bit of um, a lip. Um, I did cut with scissors, as you can see, quite rough. And then I'll actually go through and sand it down um, just to make it nice and even and in line with the drawers. It was really easy to do. Just pressing down, even though you've glued it, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get any lifting. Some I did have to go back and just slip a paddle pop stick underneath with the glue and just sort of fix it back in. It had just lifted. Um, overnight, I just placed them down flat with a weight on just to make sure that they were, you can see there, it does look a little bit like they're lifting, but please be assured they are really secure. Using a bit of the Carbothane Clear and a bit of the Pureco Driftwood, I mixed it up. I'm doing a little bit of glaze over it just to match the top of the drawers that um, I'm putting them on. And just used a roller, did two coats of that and glued my beautiful handles on with the super glue. And here's the finished product so pretty and it just adds to the feature of these um, this little entertainment unit hope you enjoyed